Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. Let's quickly review what we expected for today and how did the market behave. So on Nifty, we expected that if it had closed above 22,516, which is the previous week's low, the week before that actually, but it closed at 22,513.7, something like that. So that was not giving that much conviction. But what had happened is, um, if we if you had watched the video right on Friday or Saturday that I had put wherein I said that retailers have added huge call shots, right? So because of those call shots, something around 5.6 lakh, that was the record call shots. There was an 80% chance from that analysis that historically whenever retailers make a very high call shots, 80% of the times market has closed in green somewhere uh, on an average of 0.6%, right? So today as well, if you see, we have Nifty has closed 0.7%, 0.68%. And after the gap up, one minor pullback, but very quickly it recovered and then continuously it went on going upside, right? So the, it was expected because of the huge call shots. It's not very surprising. Now we'll see what has happened to those call shots. Certain important things I'll be covering on the option chain today. So please watch without skipping any part of this, right? So I'll quickly run through a few other things. Yeah, Bank Nifty, we saw that the structure was bullish. so. Although it formed a doji on a daily candle, but it actually opened higher and has actually closed above the previous day's high as well. So Bank Nifty was also kind of bullish, although the candle might appear doji. But uh, the other important thing is the correlation, as I mentioned, right? It is not very strongly correlated. So that's why you see this difference between Nifty and Bank Nifty, wherein Nifty is point up by 0.68% and Bank Nifty is up by only 0.18 percent right now let's quickly jump into the data i have other sections to be covered like what is happening to the challenge right all that will be covered now so index futures so 8000 sorry 6000 reduction in longs by retailers so it is bearish sorry it is bullish because it is reduction of longs by retailers right and fis have actually reduced the index future shorts so that is also bullish so it is around 12,000. So it's kind of indicating bullishness. But one important thing here is, if you see they have added 11,000, close to 12,000 shots here, and this 10,000 is absorbed by FIs. So very likely, in my opinion, one index will be doing a lot better than the other, right? So it could be Bank Nifty or it could be Nifty. Uh, Prima Facie, it looks like Nifty is going to do better, but yeah, we'll have to see how where the market opens and then we'll be able to figure out. Uh, I think Nifty is going to do better than Bank Nifty for tomorrow. Now, next thing is index calls. So retailers have actually, if you see this net numbers, it feels like, wow, this is a huge reduction of all shots by retailers. So market will may not go very high now because they have reduced their call shots. But the reality is they have added huge call longs. Shorts, they have still, despite this very good up move, retailers have not closed their call shorts. They have just added huge call longs. Now, from the option chain, if you see, the interesting part is here. So, this is the 18th April expiry. If you see 23,200, right? What is the total change in open interest if you see here? So, out of 1,3,000, right? They have added 89,000 on a single strike, which is 23,200. Somewhere it felt like the pros are shorting these calls and retailers are buying these calls. That's just an assumption, but it's a logical assumption that I have made. So out of 1 lakh 3,000, 89,000 is added just today from morning, from the opening time itself. Uh, it felt like for every price up move, there were call shorts being added. Whenever the price was going down, there was no new uh, positions being created, right? So somewhere it gives me a feel that this three lakh eighty six thousand has this kind of eighty nine thousand longs as well. So retailers have actually not closed their shots. Uh, it is mostly to do with the longs that they have added, especially OTM call longs. Now FIS index call longs, they, they have added the call shots more. So both of these people have added call shots more. So it might look bearish, but it's not really bearish because, um, as I mentioned, right? So some of those strikes, if you see, they have actually uh, shorted OTM calls, far OTM calls. So, and also the net figure, if you see, net figure is retailers are call short, 
FIAs and pros are called long. So we can take it as a mixed signal, not proper bullish or bearish, but yeah, uh, market may not go so high. That's why they have shorted 23,000 and 23,200 kind of calls. But at the same time, they did not short any ATM calls. So it is bullish, but not very bullish, right? So we can take it as mixed. Let's see at the puts. So retailers have added huge put longs today. So so they have moved from put shorts to put longs. So that is bullishness. FIS have reduced their put longs. So that is also bullish. And pros have added huge put shorts. So that is also bullishness. So from index puts, it's clearly indicating bullishness. Now, one other option chain I'll take you. So it will look at 10th April. So if you see this far, 20,050 20, and 20,100. So there are some positions being added here, here, here. If you see, these are all some uh, high positions being added. Somewhere it gives me a feel that 22,600 at 57 rupees, right, at the closing price. So these are all added by retailers. They have added huge put longs. So in my opinion, this huge put longs is 22,600. So what is the important conclusion is only Nifty is bearish only below 22,600 looking at the option chain. And as long as Nifty is above, to be precise, 22,619, we can say that it is still bullish, right? And uh, yeah, so that is the thing with data. Now let's quickly have a look at the charts. Yeah, so for starting with Nifty, so 22,000. 700 today's highs approximately that will act as the first resistance and I think for me the target is 22,760, 768 that kind of a level. You can write it as 22,768 plus or minus 10, 15 points. So 22,768 could be uh, the target for tomorrow. It can go above that as well but that's the possible target. In case market opens directly at 22,768, I will look for a 5 minutes or a 15 minutes red candle. I mean the reversal candle and then take a short trade in trading only right so 20 to 700 in that case would act as the support but if it goes from down this will act as the resistance the next key support is 22 635 and then 22 568 so as long as nifty is above 22 525 right so we can it's in bullish area and this is a breakout so how we, how is this a breakout i'll hide these levels and I'll show you the charts. So we have seen multiple highs here, right? So these five six candles that we have seen, all are around 22, 520, 530, right? So till Nifty is about 22, 530, we can say it is in a bullish area and it has given a breakout. Now, what to do with May end positions? So it's as I mentioned earlier, right? For conservative people, 22, 619, any daily candle closing above it is a stop loss. So this has formed a good bullish candle. So people who are really conservative should ideally take this as a stop loss, right? Um, since I am confident about my positions, so I am I am running this open challenge wherein it's not just that I am simulating. I really have positions as well. So I would still not take a stop loss because I believe in the strategy that I am applying. I am not going with any OTM put buying or. Um, not going aggressive ITM call selling also. I'm just shorting ATMs. So for that reason, just from the profit profitability sake, I think uh, I will still hold the positions. But for the real traders who are just uh, taking April positions and weekly options and all, you should consider this as a top loss. That is one clear thing, right? And only below 20 to 530, whenever it starts closing, then we can again initiate the bearish positions. That is the expectation. For bank nifty the levels for tomorrow are so you can note this down 48669 as the first resistance and above that it's anyway new all-time high rate so bank nifty i think 49 300 400 also looks possible but i'm not saying that is the target but looks possible till that much right one important thing um, on nifty currently the pcr is 1.5 so 1.4 so just have a look that whenever it goes to 1.5 tomorrow on Ofstra, that should be your oversold reason. Over, yeah, overbought reason, sorry. And simulation, very quickly, uh, these are the updates I had shared on WhatsApp, right? So I have added these two positions. Currently, it is looking uh, minus 1.9% as loss. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue to run this. I hope this video is helpful. If it is,